Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Demon Edge Studios. And today I wanted to bring you another thing, um, another episode in the Hobby Basics. And um, this basic is kind of, uh, it has to do with uh, stripping your miniatures and getting the paint, co uh, the original, the, the paint off of them. Um, why would you want to get the paint off of these? Well, it can be many different reasons. You could want a new paint scheme. You could, you know, be changing your chapter. Uh, you might have picked up a bits lot, a lot on eBay. You just don't like the paint coat. It's it's any reason that you're going to be repainting the miniature. But, and if you would just take the miniature and spray paint over it, you would lose a lot of the detail, and you really don't want that. You want to, you still want your your minis to look nice and vibrant. So what do we do with it? Well, first off, um, you're gonna want to get. Um, some simple green and I don't know if this is available outside of the US um, but uh, you're gonna want to get the simple green cleaning agent um, cleaning concentrate agent I picked up this gallon off of Amazon for 10 bucks plus free shipping you're gonna want to get a couple of toothbrushes um, I've got three different kinds I normally use I have a, um, a denture brush. Uh, this is used for, um, I use it for miniatures that I feel aren't weak enough that uh, I can really be a little vigorous in scraping the paint off. Uh, I use a regular toothbrush for models that might have been weakened by the Simple Green, which I'll get into that in a second. And then I have a gum brush, uh, kind of a detail brush, that I use for the for the for the for the the cracks and crevices of different models. Now, as I said, you know, um, the weakened models. Uh, that's the one downside I have found with using Simple Grain, is it can weaken plastic models. However, it's better than a lot of these other cleaning agents that I've seen that actually melt plastic models, which is one of the big reasons why I use. Um, why well, I use Simple Green. So, um, other supplies you might need, well, you will need, is you're going to want an old, uh, an old uh, towel or washcloth, something to scrape your minis on. Um, a couple plastic containers. Uh, this is just a Welch's jar. Um, I also have a Tupperware container that I use. Um, and that you use that for soaking your miniatures in. Um, I recommend using some sort of medical mask to help filter out the chemicals when you're working on it, as well as latex gloves, which I actually just realized I do not have any, so I am going uh, barehanded, and you really shouldn't. <laughs> so, anyways, um, now to get to the actual process. To get the miniatures prepared, it's really, really easy. You fill up your container. You fill up your container full of Simple Green. This is Dirty Simple Green, because I just pulled out a lot of these. Um, my puppy's right here. <laughs> I just pulled out all these minis from this container, and all you do is you get the mini you want painted, you want cleaned off, and you go ahead, you throw it in. You let it soak two, three, four days. Um, I usually let them soak for a lot longer than that. Another note to have is your so your soaking container. You want to make sure it has a lid because if you have pets or children or younger brothers and sisters, you want to make sure this is covered, you know, and uh, even if you don't, you don't want it stinking up your studio or your painting area or whatever. So, okay. So we are to... So we've got we've got the mini soaking. They've soaked for these minis have been soaking for quite some time. So how do we clean them? It's very very easy. We're gonna take this house Escher model. Let me zoom in a little bit. House Escher model had a faulty uh, uh, base coat for the spraying. It's pewter. We can use a denture brush. And all you do is here we go. You hold the mini down, and you just scrape it clean. 
Now you are going to run into areas that no matter how much you scrub, you are not going to be able to get the paint off. That is just an unfortunate reality of buying pre-used paint or pre-used minis. However, for her, we seem to do a pretty good job in getting her clean. Now, let's let's do another let's do another model. So, okay, we got this uh, Slaneshi Marine. Let's go ahead. Let's give let's give this guy a let's give this denture brush a shot, and we do it the same exact way we did the other mini. Okay, now let's take the regular brush. Now you'll notice that it's getting a little soapy and foamy. Now the reason for that is I actually cleaned this brush in the Simple Green just to get all the crud off of it, which you are going to want to do. And you just keep scrubbing it. When it gets too dirty, and I've noticed this mostly on the, the plastic models is they don't clean off nearly as easy. When it gets too dirty, just go ahead, throw it back in the simple green, wash it off, and go back to the painting, to the scraping. So yeah, um, sometimes the models will take two minutes, other times they'll take 20. Um, it really depends on, it depends on a lot of different factors such as, you know, how well, how well did the spray paint when the person did the uh, base coat, if they did use spray paint, how well did it bind to the, uh, to the, to the plastic, um, you know, how long it's been soaking for, so on and so forth. The last thing to know is when you are done, when you are done cleaning your minis, you're going to want to wash these. Um, and quite simply, you, you just go to your sink and you wash them. And that's all there really is to it. So hopefully... Um, Hopefully this video was uh, was informative for you. Um, I want to do more of these hobby basic videos in the future. So uh, until next time, guys, my dog's going crazy. So until next time, like, subscribe, and as always, happy painting. Thanks. Bye-bye.